Catch a mystic blow in the wind. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Happy Sunday to all of y'all across the world, and welcome to another episode of Yadi's Kitchen. So, I don't know it's Sunday, so I have to make some really good Sunday dinner. And today I'm going to make some curry goat, um, served with rice and peas in coconut milk and some vegetable on the side. So we're just going to just work together and just have some fun doing what I love to do. Hopefully you guys love to do it too. And of course, thank you for everybody who likes, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks to everybody in my little city who has been supporting me with some orders. And I'm still working slowly. I'm not rushing anything because when you move too fast in life, bad things happen so for me i'm just rolling with the tide right now you know when the time comes for me to launch officially it will happen and you first will be the first to know y'all will be the first to know sorry about that so i'm gonna get another thing and start preparing the meat you don't know what for wash with goat already what for wash that in the vinegar and the lime and then we're gonna add our seasoning then we're gonna like put a little you know put a little thing in the pot and you know one of the little vibes and stuff you know we for yardify the whole thing you see me so keep it locked to your this kitchen and remember like share what subscribe all right so as i always do i make sure i say i wash always my meat because um yeah it was fresh when i got it it was fresh i just killed it yesterday but that doesn't say anything you get me still have to wash off all the bacteria because it went through a lot of hands so you see i put my water and then i add my vinegar to it and make sure so you wash it properly you know you just have to make sure you get rid of all bacteria, all germs off of your food. You can't just buy something at the supermarket and the first thing you do when you go home, you just drop it in a, a bowl and start to seasoning it. And start seasoning it and then cook it. Nah, man, you have to wash your meat thoroughly, man. Wash it right through. You get me? Wash it. And when you use the vinegar and the lime, kind of help with the flavor also, yeah? So I say, meat properly washed. Now we're going to start getting all the seasoning ready and get to cooking. All right, everybody. So here we have everything I'm going to use. As you just saw, I just washed my goat just now, clean her up and everything already. So this is everything I'm going to use um, as the base ingredients. I'm going to use my carrots, I'm going to use my, um, my potatoes and also my bell peppers. And then I'm going to come in also with some thyme, some rosemary. Um, I'm going to cut one of the scotch bonnet pepper in um, when I'm doing the marinade now. And then the other one, when it's cooking down, we, are, we Jamaicans like to just drop a whole pepper in the food to actually boost the flavor, you know. And of course, you know, I have my garlic, I have my onion, and I have my scallion. And definitely can't go without my pimento, you see me, me love my pimento. And I, I need it actually right in Dutch, it's Jamaica pepper, you get me. But let me feel happy to find it, you know. So now we're going to start getting everything together. Add up the curry and everything and we will do the first base marinade I don't know, I'm going to show you guys all the stuff I'm going to do step by step And feel free to follow, alright? So, let's get into it Me like to top it off first, you know I'm going in my salt Make sure you put your salt on your food, you understand? I don't really like use a lot of salt, you know? But you don't know where to put a little salt on the thing And then we're going to jump in with some curry powder I love you curry, you know. I love curry. Jamaicans love curry. We put curry gravy on every single thing we eat. So put one, two spoon or two tablespoon of curry. Then we're gonna come in now with some Caribbean seasoning, Caribbean powder seasoning. Boom bang. Mm hmm. Add in my Caribbean powder seasoning. It's not a barbecue we're doing, but this, it's very good. Like, very, very good. I like the flavor where it gives, you know. You don't know it come from the motherland, so you don't know it have to have a strong flavor. Don't put too much on it. Just a little tap I always use, yeah? So after I add that now, then I'm going to come in with a little bit of pimento seed. Drop some pimento seeds inside. Yeah, add my pimento. Mm -hmm. After I add my pimento now, I'm going to come in again. I'm going to drop some jerk seasoning on it too. You don't know where to put a little jerk seasoning on it because you don't know. We like to do a thing and have a little extra spice. You understand me, yeah? So we we'll add in a little jerk powder seasoning now. Now we're going to add um, a little bit of my spicy oil, my homemade spicy oil. 
just a little because we're going to put the peppers inside of it we don't want it to be too spicy you know so we'll just add a little bit of that and then we're going to come in now with a little bit of water and then we're going to combine all of this together right now then i'm going to start adding the other seasoning such as the the onion the garlic the pepper the thyme the scallion all of that stuff everything else the bell pepper the potato and the carrot we add that after because if we add it in the beginning you go and get a smooshy and not not tasty you get me and not attractive either Okay, so now we have here, we have the peppers ready, we have the potato and the carrots. So we're going to add it to the curry boat now and let it slowly cook down together. And then add also the last scotch bonnet pepper and just let the flavor marinate through the entire thing, you know. I promise him when you're going to love the flavor of this after. Alright guys, here we have our rice and peas already. So you don't know we do it in the rice cooker because as I said I wanted it to be a very fast dinner this evening because you know I and I hungry. So this is how it came out. Um, it's In Jamaica still, the rice is more colorful but you don't know. We never have the time to soak the peas so next time we do it you don't know we're going to do the right thing. So I could jump in at the final. Alright everybody, sorry about the presentation tonight. I'm having some technical difficulties in my camera. But anyways, this is my curry goat with rice and peas and my vegetables on the side. And um, as you can see, the curry goat well soft and juicy, isn't it, people? So this is our dish you can try at home. And remember to like, share, and subscribe on the channel. And just keep it locked to your this kitchen. All right, everybody. <laughs> Stay tuned.